Internal Medicine, Wikipedia Audio Internal medicine or general medicine is the medical specialty dealing with the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of adult diseases. Physicians specializing in internal medicine are called internists, or physicians in Commonwealth nations. Internists are skilled in the management of patients who have undifferentiated or multi-system disease processes. Internists care for hospitalized and ambulatory patients and may play a major role in teaching and research. Because internal medicine patients are often seriously ill or require complex investigations, internists do much of their work in hospitals. Internists often have subspecialty interests in diseases affecting particular organs or organ systems. Internal medicine is also a specialty within clinical pharmacy and veterinary medicine. History Historically, some of the oldest traces of internal medicine can be traced from ancient India and ancient China. Earliest texts about internal medicine are the Ayurvedic anthologies of Sharika. Internal medicine physicians have practiced both in clinics and in hospitals often in the same day. Pressures on time have led to many internal medicine physicians to choose one practice setting, who may choose to practice only in the hospital, as a hospitalist, or only in an outpatient clinic, as a primary care physician. Adolescent medicine, allergy, asthma, and immunology, concerned with the diagnosis, treatment, and management of allergies, asthma and disorders of the immune system, cardiology, dealing with disorders of the heart and blood vessels asterisk, clinical cardiac electrophysiology, critical care medicine, endocrinology, dealing with disorders of the endocrine system and its specific secretions called hormones, gastroenterology, concerned with the field of digestive diseases, geriatric medicine, Hematology. Concerned with blood, the blood forming organs and its disorders, hospital medicine, infectious disease, concerned with disease caused by a biological agent such as by a virus, bacterium, or parasite, interventional cardiology, medical oncology, dealing with the chemotherapeutic and slash or immunotherapeutic treatment of cancer, nephrology dealing with the study of the function and diseases of the kidney, pulmonology, dealing with diseases of the lungs and the respiratory tract, rheumatology. Devoted to the diagnosis and therapy of rheumatic diseases, sleep medicine, sports medicine, transplant hepatology. The term internal medicine originates from the German term interim medicine, popularized in Germany in the late 19th century to describe physicians who combined the science of the laboratory with the bedside clinical care of patients. Internal medicine delved into underlying pathological causes of symptoms and syndromes by use of laboratory investigations. In contrast, physicians in previous generations, such as the 17th century physician Thomas Sydenham, who is known as the father of English medicine or the English Hippocrates, had developed nosology via the clinical approach to diagnosis and management, by careful bedside study of the natural history of diseases and their treatment while eschewing dissection of corpses and scrutiny of the internal workings of the body, and thus anatomical pathology and laboratory studies, in considering they Internal Mechanisms and Causes of Symptoms Giovanni Battista Morgani, an Italian anatomist of the 18th century, is considered the father of anatomical pathology. The 19th century saw the rise of internal medicine that combined the clinical approach with use of investigations. Many early 20th century American physicians studied medicine in Germany and brought this medical field to the United States. Thus, the name internal medicine was adopted in imitation of the existing German term. 
Much confusion surrounds the meaning of internal medicine and the role of an internist. Internists are qualified physicians with postgraduate training in internal medicine and should not be confused with interns, who are doctors in their first year of residency training. Although internists may act as primary care physicians, they are not family physicians, family practitioners, or general practitioners whose training is not solely concentrated on adults and may include surgery, obstetrics, and pediatrics. The American College of Physicians defines internists as physicians who specialize in the prevention, detection, and treatment of illnesses in adults. The training and career pathways for internists vary considerably across the world. Many programs require previous undergraduate education prior to medical school admission. This pre-medical education is typically four or five years in length. Graduate medical education programs vary in length by country. Medical education programs are tertiary-level courses, undertaken at a medical school attached to a university. In the United States, Medical school consists of four years. Hence, gaining a basic medical education may typically take eight years, depending on jurisdiction and university. Following completion of entry-level training, newly graduated medical practitioners are often required to undertake a period of supervised practice before the licensure, or registration, is granted typically one or two years. This period may be referred to as internship, conditional registration, or foundation program. Then, doctors may finally follow specialty training in internal medicine if they wish, typically being selected to training programs through competition. In North America, this period of postgraduate training is referred to as residency training followed by an optional fellowship if the internist decides to train in a subspecialty. In Commonwealth countries, during that training period in internal medicine, trainees are often called senior house officers, and advance to registrar grade when they undergo a compulsory subspecialty training whilst commonly continuing service provision in the main speciality. In the United States, Residency training for internal medicine lasts three years. Allergy-slash-immunology, cardiology, critical care medicine, endocrinology, gastroenterology, geriatric medicine, hematology-slash-oncology, infectious diseases, nuclear medicine, nephrology, pulmonology, rheumatology. In the United States, three organizations are responsible for certification of trained internists in terms of their knowledge, skills, and attitudes that are essential for excellent patient care, the American Board of Internal Medicine, the American Osteopathic Board of Internal Medicine and the Board of Certification in Internal Medicine. In the United States, Two organizations are responsible for certification of subspecialists within the field, the American Board of Internal Medicine and the American Osteopathic Board of Internal Medicine. Physicians who successfully pass board exams get board certified status and acute medicine, allergy, audiovestibular medicine, cardiology, clinical genetics, clinical neurophysiology, clinical pharmacology and therapeutics, dermatology, endocrinology and diabetes mellitus, gastroenterology, general medicine, genitourinary medicine, geriatric medicine, hematology, immunology, infectious diseases, medical oncology, medical ophthalmology, neurology, nuclear medicine, pediatric cardiology, palliative medicine, pharmaceutical medicine, rehabilitation medicine, renal medicine, respiratory medicine, 
rheumatology, sport and exercise medicine, tropical medicine. Background The following are the subspecialties recognized by the American Board of Internal Medicine. The American College of Osteopathic Internists recognizes the following subspecialties. In the United Kingdom, the three medical royal colleges are responsible for setting curricula and training programs through the Joint Royal Colleges Postgraduate Training Board, although the process is monitored and accredited by the General Medical Council. Doctors who have completed medical school spend two years in foundation training completing a basic postgraduate curriculum. After two years of core medical training and attaining the membership of the Royal College of Physicians, physicians commit to one of the medical specialties. Many training programs provide dual accreditation with general medicine and are involved in the general care to hospitalist patients. These are acute medicine, cardiology, clinical pharmacology and therapeutics, endocrinology and diabetes mellitus, gastroenterology, infectious diseases, renal medicine, respiratory medicine, and often, rheumatology. The role of general medicine, after a period of decline, was remfacist by the Royal College of Physicians of London report from the Future Hospital Commission. Medicine is mainly focused on the art of diagnosis and treatment with medication, but many subspecialties administer procedural treatment. Education and Training of Internists Certification of Specialists Cardiology, Angioplasty, Cardioversion, Cardiac Ablation, Intra-Aortic Balloon Pump, Critical Care Medicine mechanical ventilation, gastroenterology, endoscopy and ERCP, nephrology, dialysis, pulmonology, bronchoscopy. Subspecialties United States American Board of Internal Medicine American College of Osteopathic Internists United Kingdom Medical Diagnosis and Treatment 